this is Chef Elham and thank you for watching. This is a video on how to make the dish that I posted on Instagram a couple of days ago. This is the cod with the carrots and um, red pepper. No, I'm sorry, it was orange pepper. <laughs> Just kidding. And um, I'm gonna show you how to make it and then at the end you will have the recipe. So here we go. We have some uh, onions, yellow carrots, orange bell peppers and some spices, turmeric, saffron, a little bit of flour, I'll show you why later, and I have a piece of cod with just salt and pepper. So let's get started. In the heat of my pan, first thing we're going to do is saute the onions. They take a little bit longer than the carrot and the bell peppers. Okay, you want to make sure your pan is hot enough so you can barely touch the sides and then add your oil. Add enough oil to coat the bottom. So I'm not really going to tell you in the recipe that I will have at the end. I'm not going to tell you how much oil because it depends on what size pan you're using. Just so it's coated like this. Okay, it's nice and hot. And it uh, wasn't hot enough because I didn't hear that sizzle. Starting to sizzle. See, I got impatient. You want to make sure that you hear the sizzle when you put your food in. That means your pan is hot enough. Let that cook. I just decided last minute to add a little bit of garlic too. So I'm going to add a table or a teaspoon of flour. This is to make the sauce just a tiny bit thicker. We're, I'm not looking for gravy, but just just give it a little bit of body. Okay, let that cook. It takes about one minute for the flour to cook. You just want to smell it right when you put it in. And then when it starts to smell like toasted bread, then you know it's done. Then you know that the flour is cooked. Okay, I'm ready to add my peppers. And obviously you can add whatever color peppers or carrots you like. I'm just doing it exactly the way I had it. I had the picture the other day. So I'm going to add maybe just a tiny bit more oil. The reason I put these aside is because I don't want to add cold oil to what I'm cooking. I'm putting it here first so it can heat up and then I'll go ahead and mix it in. saute them for a minute or two. I don't really want the vegetables to get soft because they'll have time to cook in the wine as well. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of saffron, a little bit of turmeric for color. I like that orange color. A bit of toss. And now I'm going to deglaze it, even though there's really nothing to deglaze. But I'm going to add a little bit of wine. A little bit of chicken stock. It's probably about half a cup each, half a cup to three quarter cups. Oil. I feel like I'm forgetting an ingredient, but I guess not. Okay, I'm going to let this cook for about five minutes so the vegetables can get a little bit soft. And then um, while that's doing that, we'll move on to the chicken. I mean fish. <laughs> We're not cooking chicken, but you could do this with chicken as well. So same thing, I'm going to put, I'm going to heat up my pan. Right now I can leave my hands in there, although as my daughter says, I have no feelings left in my hands, but um, just, you want to just be barely able to touch it, and that's when you know it's hot enough. Now to add a little bit of flavor, and also just a little bit of color, I'm going to add a little, a little bit of butter. The reason I don't add just the butter is because butter 
has a lower, has actually a pretty low smoke point, whereas olive oil has a higher smoke point. So if you mix the two, you're kind of getting the best of both worlds. You're getting the flavor of butter and the smoke point of the olive oil. Okay, butter is melted. Once the bubbles kind of start to go down a little bit, then you know it's hot. Uh, you always want to put presentation side down first. This side is not as pretty as this side. This is the part I want on my plate, so I'm going to put this down first. The reason for that, and I'm back to medium high heat. The reason for that is because, especially with fish that as it cooks, it could fall apart. You only want to turn it once and then you can pick it up and put it on your plate. So you don't have to keep flipping it back and forth. You shouldn't flip it anyway. You only flip once. So while that's cooking, let me show you another thing I made earlier. This is the same fish, cod, and I wrapped it in shredded phyllo dough and fried it in the pan. So I'll show you how to plate that later. Oh, and the smoke is so thick. It's a nice color. So I will gently flip it over. Got a little bit of these uh, shredded kilo dough on here. You see how it's separating? It's already flaking. That means it's cooking. It's almost there. Okay, I was having some technical difficulties and I didn't realize that the end of my video did not record. So you missed the whole plating thing, but really all I did was put some of the vegetables and the juice on the bottom of the bowl and then put the fish on top. This is the fish that I was cooking and this is the fish that uh, I had wrapped in shredded phyllo and uh, fried. So it's, and it's a bit same concept. You just put the sauce on the bottom uh, the sauce with the vegetables and then you just lay the fish on top and I decorated it with um, edible flowers that I got from Whole Foods. Uh, they're really fun to play with and to garnish and it just makes everything look fancy. So what you want to do is just kind of drop a little bit on the plate and then grab some more and then just kind of try to pile it up high this needed a little bit of color like that if you have any questions about these please let me know send me a message and now for the ultimate test i'm going to taste it mm. Mm. really really good i tasted the one with the filo dough the crunchy mm. very good and um the vegetables are, they're cooked, but they still have a crunch, which is how I like it. If you like your vegetables softer, then cook it longer, obviously. Um, but to me, this is perfect. Mm. Thank you again for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.